Hey, what's happening everybody? It's been a while. Just been working on this earth bag structure non-stop seven days a week. Haven't been taking any breaks and it's coming along good, but still a lot to do. So I'm going to show you guys what we're working on now. So here I'm standing right by the chicken run and going to walk from there up the mound down the steps all this has to be cleaned up and I'm gonna be doing some touch-up work on this actually a lot of touch-up work and got to take care of that so there's step one step two gonna to have to start doing the stucco on this um, outside here we're actually gonna be using a, an iron oxide colorant so it's gonna have like this reddish color to it so it's gonna look really cool that way we don't have to paint it I'm gonna be putting a urethane on these uh, branches here to make them pop nice shine so I'll be using a UV probably a spar urethane to put some UV protectant probably have to coat them once a year but they'll actually turn out nice I've done it before on other projects so it's gonna look awesome and it's gonna pop as soon as um, soon as that's done so anyhow um so now i'm going to walk down here and just show you guys inside what i've been holed up doing here for the last few weeks so this is a cool little thing this little screen has magnets here you just open this up and it automatically closes behind you here so it's kind of cool because these magnets they all come back together anyways so I'm in here now. You can hear the acoustics have changed a lot in here. I don't know if you guys can hear that echoing, but that's, uh, you know, that's a good sign kind of because that means that there are walls and there's a ceiling. So really what I've been working on in here is I got the ceiling in, I've got uh, LED lights in here, and I've got, uh, what else? I'm gonna be um, putting another layer of concrete on this ledge here. That's what I'm doing next actually So that's what this is. This is just some metal fencing that I had left over that I'm going to be using um, Got to clean up all these rocks <clears throat> For the masonry work that we did. There's just a lot of dust and you know We were a little messy in here So probably in the future, you know do a better job at covering this stuff up But you know a big thing for me is I don't like using all that plastic you know because it's already we already use enough of it so I didn't put the plastic over it because I'm just gonna pressure wash these rocks and just I got some you know use my grinder just to to brush off some of this stuff but we're actually gonna be using a I think I'm gonna put actually a urethane coating on these rocks too to make them pop it'll actually really deepen the hue on these things they'll look really cool when that's done but um, yeah so Anyways, that's what I'm working on now, but yeah, the ceiling came out okay. Um, you know, I would say in the future there's some things I'd do differently, but overall I'm pretty happy with the outcome. That big space right there, there's a couple windows that are going up in the ceiling here eventually. I'm um, just looking to find some good deals on some windows, so that's why that space is open right there. Um, let's see, I got to do... Right here on the entrance, I gotta put some, uh, I'll put a little block here of concrete. And of course, I gotta do the door frame soon. Um, we already have the door painted. My wife painted it, she did a great job. So the door is gonna be ready to go. It's really heavy, because it's all solid oak. But that's gonna be going in here. It's blue, so it's got a really cool color. My wife's gonna be painting the ceiling. Um, she's doing some gray color. She's in charge of all this uh, aesthetic stuff in here. I'm just doing the building, so she's much better at that stuff than I am. So anyways, yeah, so that's what I've been working on, and it's just been a grind, honestly. Um, this whole project is just something we're doing before we build the house. I just wanted to do like my little apprenticeship on this and practice with all the techniques that I haven't done before. Uh, I've done a lot of framing work, so I'm, I'm familiar with that, but this kind of stuff like masonry, um, slip form stone masonry, ferro cement, uh, lime plaster, earth bags, that kind of stuff. Um, just wanted to practice with that before we start on the house because we're going to be incorporating those techniques into our design. And this design, what makes this a little different than anything else that I've done was this was actually freehand build which means that i didn't have anything drawn out when we did this this actually we we from the start we just started stacking bags and go, as we went we started 
you know, design it as we went. So there are pros and cons to it. The pros are you got complete freedom with your creativity, so you're not really rigid on anything. So we were able to make a lot of changes that I feel like ultimately were for the better. So like this ledge, for example, this was something that we just kind of thought up as we went. <clears throat> but yeah, but, but the bad news with that is it takes longer and you make more mistakes because you don't have things planned out on paper. So what ends up happening is you get like four or five issues you didn't think about. So, you know, you kind of want to meet in the middle there. For the house, we're going to be a lot more rigid with our plan. Everything's being developed on software. Like it's, you know, we're doing 3D modeling. So we, we've got a good idea of what we want to do with that. So I'll be unveiling that soon. And here, I just want to show you guys the ceiling just to give you an idea of what it looks like here. So just went with the standard knockdown, you know, texture on the top. I did a little heavy knockdown here because I wanted to really pop my wife. Like I said, she's going to be painting this a, a different color, a darker color. So um, that's what I did up here. The hardest part about doing the drywall in here was really just that, you know, the corners and well, there are no corners. It's just that all the edges here were had to be cut specifically you know like like customized for the edges here because we're not dealing with squares and rectangles this is like an amorphous shape so that was a little tricky and you can see here i got the lime plaster touch up to meet the wall you know the walls meet the ceiling that kind of thing and of course the led lights you know these suckers were awesome they they're awesome they really I don't know if you guys can tell in here, but the light is, it looks like a really natural daylight in here. That's what, what's what we were going for. So we like that. And um, so anyways, yeah. Um, next year, I'm just putting a layer of concrete around here on the top, on the ledge here. So that's what I'm working on now. I'm just cutting some scrap fencing to add some, some uh, little bit of structure underneath the concrete to make it a little better so it doesn't crack or hopefully it doesn't crack. But yeah, so that's what I've been up to, folks. Um, thanks for following along. I'll keep you guys informed on what the next move is here. But I'm going to get back to work, and I'll talk to you guys soon.